What's happening everybody? This morning we are out here before first light in Charleston, South Carolina with the sheephead aficionado, Tanya Dowdy herself. Y'all, I'm down here with my buddy Alex Hackney right here in Game Tackle. We drove down from Virginia Beach and uh, Tanya, well Christy is not joining us on this trip, let's just say that because she's on a little girl's trip. So Hackney and I are down here. So right now we are running out to wherever we're going to fish today. I think we're actually going to go out to the ocean and start out there and hopefully the rain holds off. So we're going to run out to the spot and uh, let's get this show on the dang road. Do it! Action craft, baby! There it is. So split shot rigs today, people. Two split shots, really easy. Little hook, no problem. And y'all, today's bait, all we're using, little fiddler crabs. Just tiny little fiddlers. Tiny hooks, tiny fiddler crabs, but hopefully we won't be catching some decent size little sheepies. And then we got this long jetty. Casting right up against it. He's on. Is this your first sheep's head? Sure dang is. Boat flip him. 10 pounder probably, hold off. <laughs> nice job, dog. Nice job. All right, first fish. First fish of the morning. Dude, that is your first sheep's head. First one ever. Ever. On the split shot. Nice. On the split it's shot rig. Oh, you got one weight on there. Yeah, that was a ticket, okay? <laughs> You're holding out. <laughs> the old convict, we got him. We got him. I guess it was empty or... Whew. All right, people, so it is officially cold. It got colder somehow uh, as the day progressed. I can actually see my breath. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is freezing. It started to rain a little bit and I can barely even move my hands. So we came in shore and now we're gonna hit some of these kind of like inshore docks. So we jumped the program so we might, you know, might catch some sheephead in here, sheep's head, or we'll do redfish, speckled trout, who knows. But change it up a little bit. It is cold. All right, so this is what we're working with now. So we got this backwater candy little popping cork here, and then about three feet of leader line. I'm actually using a quarter ounce jig head, and then we've got this, uh, what is this, little gudgeon, mud minnow. Pretty easy rig, and we're just throwing it right up against these rocks. So, first cast, bomb it out there. Oh, fish on, fish on. Tanya's on. Where's that dead at? <laughs> under the seat? Yeah, under there. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Little red fish. <laughs> nice. Little Charleston redfish. There it is. A little Charleston red on the old mud minnow. Winter time redfish. And they'll, they'll just be right up, pretty shallow you said. Yep. This time of year, right? Correct. Trying to get away from flipper. Trying to get away from the dolphins. Yep. What's your favorite, uh, how do you like to catch these guys in the winter time? Like Z-Man, soft yep. plastics? Z-Man. Yeah. Jerk baits. That's right. That's pretty much. Nice. Good job. Hey. <laughs> Mike, I think there's a fish up 
<laughs> little blue tail. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Beautiful fishing number two. Fish three for the boat. All right, so this is spot. I can't, dude. I'm so cold. I can't even. I can't even make a three right now. I can't. Only with my left hand I can do that. This is spot number three. So we're doing some speckled trout fishing. We might catch some redfish, but you know what, y'all? We're just out here on the water, getting after it in the dead of winter in Charleston, which. Charleston's right behind us. And now we have this grass bank right here. So Tanya says that she's gonna show us how she gets it done on the old speckled trout. So Tanya's got the one eighth ounce and that's what we're doing. So we've got this nice little grass line that we're gonna be working, but y'all, it is dang cold. So hopefully we're gonna catch some nice speckled lips. All right, y'all, a little redfish toad Z-Man. Some shrimp pro cure. One eighth ounce jig head. One eighth ounce. Yeah, I'll see what you got. <laughs> I get a little jealous of some of I like going places and trying to target something that I can't catch here, but we, 100%. it seems like every time we go, we, you know, I'm like, oh, here we go. Hey, I can fish. I can fish. <laughs> Good. Decent, yeah. All right, people. My first fish of the day in Charleston. Nice little speckled lips. Come in, yeah. Look how long and skinny this guy is. Yeah. He's, that's, a decent, that's a good size. That, that would make many Charlestonians happy. Mm -hmm. It would be going in the box. All right, so here I'll go. We got his little double, double action. Nice little speckled lips. Tanya's got one. Little yellow mouth. What you got there, the Ned Rig? Ned Rig. Very nice, very nice. There it is, people. Little. Winter time, Charleston speckle lips action. Getting it done. That's a slam. Good job. Count that out. Hackney brought the sheep's head to trout, right? Yeah. That is a, a boat slam. Boat slam. By the way, y'all check out Tanya's Facebook page. Tanya Dowdy, Tanya right? Dowdy. Yep, or Real Chica on Instagram. Or Real Chica on Instagram. That's awesome. Like real R E E L Chica, yes. right? Real Chica on Instagram. some Charleston speckled trout, people. This right here will get you through winter time. Ooh, this is not too shabby right here. Not too shabby. You guys, I'll catch these, these little trout all day long. We're just working this bank right here. That's what Tanya was saying. So I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but there's like a little drop off and then the current comes out just a little bit of a ways. So we got our boat facing in the current. The tide's coming this way. It's weird because we're actually casting and working back up current, which is counterintuitive to what a lot of people think, but who the heck cares? Because we're catching fish. Like you'll say, oh, you just got to cast up current, work it back with the way the current's coming in. But today we're working it against the current, which is definitely getting the job done. I don't think these fish are being too picky. There he is. Dang, he picked it up right on the drop. Nice little head shaker. <laughs> Dang. Come in here, Mr. Yellow Mile. Could be. Look how skinny these things are. Y'all, this Z-Man is absolutely doing work today. So we were actually using mud meadows earlier and that is like the main forage for these fish right now. But you can see 
how skinny that this speckled trout is. Winter time, these fish, you know, fall, they're eating, eating, eating. And then in the winter time, they do slow down. Their metabolism slows down quite a bit. We're gonna let this guy go. I don't wanna keep these fish out of the water too long because they are using so much energy uh, to, you know, just A, to eat, and then also just to kind of like stay alive. So you guys are catching and releasing in the winter time. Definitely wanna be cognizant of that. But dang, that was a beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, so I just wanted to end this video with just a few kind of like quick tips and uh, just a little bit more of a description of kind of like what I do and how I target fish in the winter time because it is different. And by the way, that day, big shout out to Tanya because um, that was probably one of like the worst days that we could have picked to go fishing. When I'm fishing a jig head, I am going to, kind of the first thing is, I'm gonna scale it down to a 1 8 ounce jig head. A 1 8 ounce jig head is probably a quarter ounce, is about the heaviest that I'll use. Um, if I am fishing in the mid-Atlantic, like North Carolina and Virginia, um, we are fishing some deeper areas. 15, 20, even 25 feet for speckled trout and redfish in the winter time. But in the more southern fisheries, those fish will actually, they do tend to move to more shallow water in some of those shallow creeks um, that are adjacent to that deeper water where they can find protection from flipper, from the dolphins. Uh, because redfish and speckled trout, well, dolphins tend to key in on uh, a lot of more of like the inshore game fish in the winter time. So you're gonna be looking for some of those creeks that are gonna be near like a main channel. Um, you can actually see dolphins patrolling like the outside of a creek that's gonna have redfish and speckled trout up in it. And even some sheep's head as well are gonna swim up in those skinny creeks. So that's gonna provide uh, the sunny days. Those fish are gonna pull up in there, especially bigger speckled trout. And actually another like kind of fun fact, the bigger that speckled trout get, um, the darker that their back gets. They tend to get more of like a darker, like purplish back to them on their dorsal fin. And what the speckled trout will do is they'll use that to kind of soak in more heat in that shallower water that's gonna have more of the direct sunlight in that shallower water. Uh, you know, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and even in Texas, you guys are gonna be targeting your redfish and speckled trout pretty shallow. Um, I've actually been watching, if you guys know that thresher fishing down in Texas, he's been fishing in like knee deep water down in Texas. So it's kind of similar um, in the Charleston, South Carolina area where we're just using smaller profile baits, more shallow. And also we're gonna be scaling down the weights. So I said, you know, I'm using a 1 8 ounce jig head, quarter ounce is when I'm, you know, doing a little bit deeper, but it's slower, and lower is kind of the name of the game. So uh, we're actually using some of these little Z-Man, these are like the Z-Man Ned Rigs. Let's see if this can focus. So this is like the Z-Man Ned Rig right here. And this is excellent because actually uh, this kind of like stands up on its head as you like jig it on the bottom or just bounce this on the bottom. So uh, you can fish these super, super light, even down to like a 1 10th ounce and even lighter than that. Some of my friends, they use a 1 32nd ounce jig head, crappy jigs. So just tiny, tiny jigs in the winter time. So that's if you're using artificial. I do like to use like smaller profile baits. Uh, you know, this is just the normal size Z-Man. They do make a smaller one. I just don't have that in my tackle box right now, but I also like to use more like natural colored baits. So I do like a white, and then this is just kind of like the redfish toad right here. Um, and then if I'm using Berkeley Gulp, which I will use in the winter time, this is that more, this is the three inch, uh, what is this one? The three inch paddle shad. And then the, just the swimming mullet will work as well um, in the winter time. And then I will say though, that if you're just going out and you're just trying to catch fish, um, live bait or fresh 
bait. So quarter chunks of blue crab are gonna be some of the most effective bait that you can use, especially for redfish and even speckled trout in the winter time. But if you're really going after the redfish, um, just anything with a scent is really going to help that much more because these fish, they're not really too big into chasing um, things. They're colder, their metabolism is slower, um, and that's why they're also gonna be keyed in on some of the smaller uh, profile baits. Pretty much targeting um, those like mud minnows, gudgeons, just smaller bait, and even like small, small shrimp uh, that are gonna be, you know, back in those creeks as well. So I like to use smaller uh, profile baits, but when I'm live baiting, that's where I'm going to see if I can not poke any lights out in my kitchen or anything, but that's where I'm gonna be using a fish finder rig. Um, and this is just, I think this is like a three quarter ounce uh, egg weight sinker. And I've got about a foot and a half of leader line off of that. And then I've got like a two lot hook. So just a little fish finder rig right here. Got the weight, got the hook and just gonna set that on the bottom and then you're gonna have your bait right behind that. So it's a fish finder rig. We do have some tutorials on that. Um, either, I think I might have already posted it or it's gonna be coming out here in the next day or two, but a fish finder rig is probably one of the more common rigs that I'll use when I'm using that fresh bait or even like quarter chunk of blue crab or even those gudgeons. Uh, you know, you can use them underneath of the popping cork and then also on the bottom. So if I'm fishing, say with Christy or I'm fishing with a friend, a lot of times we're gonna do one on the bottom on the fish finder rig, fishing on the bottom and then we might float a cork like right up next to the grass line. So I do look for darker, muddy bottoms, you know, stuff that is gonna have that like darker bottom is gonna retain more heat. One degree or even two degrees in change of water temperature uh, can be huge, especially in the winter time. So these fish, it's not necessarily just the temperature, it's also that direct exposure to the sunlight that these fish are gonna be really looking for, as well as a food source. Um, and protection from the dolphins. So those are some of the things that I do when I'm you know, targeting fish in the winter time. And hopefully this video will show you all that even on like the nastiest of days, I literally, I was like the most cold that I've ever been fishing in Charleston. It was raining, cloudy, it's kind of windy, just honestly like super nasty, but we did catch some fish. I actually caught more speckled trout, but didn't want to, uh, you know, kind of make the video too, too long because I wanted to do this kind of how to or just give you guys some tips. And uh, just some of the things that I really like to do on this channel is just to kind of like encourage y'all that, you know, just because you don't maybe see a lot of people posting videos of fishing in the winter time doesn't mean that you can't catch fish. You absolutely can catch fish in the winter time. In the winter, you're actually going to be catching the most numbers of fish, especially redfish, are gonna be really schooled up. If you have striper uh, like we do in Virginia and even parts of South Carolina, North Carolina, then you know it's gonna be some excellent striper fishing as well. But you guys, that was just absolutely nasty. The water temp was 48 degrees out in the ocean and those sheep's head, that's just really tough. When <laughs> that water temp's below 50 degrees for sheep's head. So um, didn't really get it done too much on the sheep's head, but if you guys are going out there and you're targeting your inshore game fish, speckled trout, redfish, um, and even some of those sheep's head, uh, you do wanna be, I would highly recommend using fresh bait. Quarter chunk of blue crab, in my opinion, is number one. Uh, number two would be some shrimp, some fresh shrimp, or even those gudgeons, those mud minnows too. Um, I would you know, rank those kind of one, two, and three for the best kind of live bait or fresh bait. But that blue crab, you absolutely cannot beat it, especially if it's live and it's fresh. So deeper docks and older docks are things that I do look for in the winter time for targeting those fish. Um, just a dock that holds depth and has a lot more structure to it is definitely gonna provide more protection from the dolphins as well as more of a food source uh, to get those fish through the winter time. So you gotta be patient. 
uh, but you also do have to kind of like move around. So it's kind of that balance of being patient, but also at the same time, if it's just not happening in a certain spot, then just keep moving around because in the winter time, these fish, they are going to tend to be more schooled. They're gonna be more concentrated in certain areas. So if you do catch one redfish, then you wanna put your power pole down or be really quiet on the boat. Try not to move around, uh, you know, slamming your feet, slamming tackle or anything like that on the boat because anything that's going to be like resembling like slapping the water or just like anything like hitting the surface of the boat or even like an anchor hitting the boat, um, you know, those redfish and the speckled trout are just going to be uh, really nervous about dolphin and that will resemble the sound of a dolphin like smacking their tail and uh, Those redfish they kind of have a lot of PTSD when it comes to uh, Dolphins, so those redfish and speckled trout they're really sketched out um, And just really on edge for the dolphin so anything that's you know just going to uh, be too loud or just really all it takes is one of those fish in the school to get spooked and then that's it, the bite's gone. But if you can find the school of them, then you're gonna be catching probably some of the most uh, numbers of fish uh, really any time of the year. So hopefully that helps y'all out. You know, some quick winter time uh, tips and also just some encouragement for y'all to get out there in the winter time, uh, no matter where you're at. Anyways, y'all, uh, that's all I got for today and I'll catch y'all in the next vid. All right.